Yo, it is I, Chris. I am here again from popular videos such as the video we did before and the one before that. Oh. And I'm wearing the cool pop shirt. That's a cool pop. That's a cool pop. I'm wow. with this guy. Hey there, it's me, uh, Curtis, a.k.a. King of the Chippeers, a.k.a. Abnormally Constructed, a.k.a. Chubby Rain himself. In the flesh, I am here. We are here. And today we are going to be doing a movie, and that movie is Stand By Me. There was a dead-end tie on the Patreon poll of Scarface and Stand By Me, and I decided to be the tiebreaker, and I'm going to choose Stand By Me. I know some of you are going to be upset about this. You're going to say I rigged the elections or whatever, but you guys are used to that, okay? We're all used to that. The elections are rigged every time. <laughs> <laughs> True. Dude, I can't wait for this conspiracy theorists. are like, he agrees with me! I do it! I'm not alone! Finally! <laughs> but I did that because Stand By Me is an hour 29 minutes compared to two hour and 50 minutes like Scarface. My work schedule is very hectic this August, and... It's just it's it's just easier for me, man. I I'd be up to like two a.m. almost having to watch Scarface. Yeah, and... it's, it's just not worth it for him. And no. more importantly, don't worry, Scarface is gonna happen. We're gonna make it a Sunday upload. Yeah, so not this next Sunday. It's gonna be the Sunday after, most likely. No, we gotta, so it's we got, not even that one. Not that one. Okay, this uh, Sunday. Two Sundays from now. Two Sundays from now, you're gonna get your Scarface. And there's Susan on the Patreon. Don't worry, Susan. We we fucking know you exist. All right, we see you. We you see love Scarface. You. You've been yeah. wanting this so bad. But you know what? Yeah. You gotta be a little bit more patient. Actually, you know what? She doesn't really have to. The full virgin, uh, virgin, oh shit. <laughs> the full version, uh, cut that out. The full version is, uh, gonna be on the Patreon earlier anyway, so it doesn't make a big difference for Susan. <laughs> the full virgin? Yeah, the, the full virgin. Um, <laughs> so you think, I swear. Uh, don't worry, Susan, it's gonna be there. We see you, we recognize you, uh, we love you. Yeah, so. Yeah. On that note, guys, we're going to be watching Stand By Me. And you know what? I'm going to plug it for the first time ever on this channel. Please, if you haven't considered, subscribe to the channel. Yes. You get a lot of great things. You get some cool pops, Ooh. full virgins, <laughs> rigged elections, and great videos. That's true, man. <laughs> Dude, I'm going to have that in a shirt. Cool pops, rigged elections, Full virgins and great videos. <laughs> Yo, oh, we, should, we should make a shirt like that, dude. That'd be kind of funny. Oh, I'd wear it. Yeah. <laughs> I'd wear it. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, we're gonna watch Stand uh, Stand by Me right now. Now. Damn. This guy looks really sad. Isn't he? Uh. He looks so familiar. The space movie where he cheats on his wife. <laughs> Encounters of the third kind. That's it. Isn't or that his? The fourth kind. No, wait. What, what's it called? In Oh fuck! I forgot. Dude, yeah, just, that's him. That's 100% him, right? It looks like he's lost something. He looks insanely sad at the same time, though. Confused and sad. I don't know. He lost his wife. He lost his hairline. Oh man, that's a nice treehouse. Yeah, that's cool, man. Treehouses are so awesome. Yo, oh, man, that's a hazard in a treehouse. My God. How do you know a Frenchman's been in your backyard? Your garbage cans are empty, and your dog's pregnant. <laughs> oh, shit. His dad was given to fits of rage. One time he held Teddy's ear to a stove and I was wondering what the fuck was oh with his ear. Oh my god. Oh my god. Chris Chambers was the leader of our gang and my best friend. He came from a bad family and every Damn. It's not the secret knock. I ran all the way from my house. I ran all the way home. Come on, you guys. Didn't even give a shit. What is it, man? Okay, great. You won't believe this. Sincerely, I ran all the way. Oh no! Fuck. <laughs> you guys want to go see a dead body? What the fuck? Meant right away. At the beginning of the school year, he had buried a quart jar of pennies underneath his house. He drew a treasure map so he could find them. Okay. A week later, his Vern had been trying to find those pennies for nine months. Nine months, man. Oh my he didn't god. Know to laugh or cry. Jesus Christ, Billy, we gotta do something. Why? Who cares? We saw him. So? 
ain't nothing to us. The kid's dead, so it ain't nothing to him neither. Oh, Who gives shit. a shit if they ever find him? I don't. Could he have gotten all the way from Chamberlain to Harlem? That's really far. Sure. He must have started walking on the train tracks and just followed them the whole way. Yeah. Yeah, right. And then after dark, Trey must have come along and El Smacko. El Smacko. We tell our folks exactly what you said. We'll all tell our folks we're tenting out in your backfield. You tell your folks you're sleeping over at Teddy's. Then we say we're going over to the drag races the next day. But if we do find that kid's body over in South Harlow, they'll know we didn't go to the drag races. We'll get hided. Anyway, but hell, it's worth it. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Oh, God. The poor kid. That summer at home, I had become the invisible boy. Huh? Huh? Mom! Why is she ignoring him? What the fuck? It's in Danny's room. What the in freak? April, my older brother Dennis had been killed in a jeep accident. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, fuck, dude. That's rough. That is just horrible, man. You know, a lot of parents can't get over the death of their kids. It's it's like... I mean, no parent is... Uh, it's ready for that. Yeah. You're, you, you know, you're always uh, expecting you to be the one who goes. And they have to be prepared. It's never the other way around. Oh, shit, man. Is it John Cusack? This, my it is. is for you. Holy shit. He looks weird young. I know. Why can't you have friends like Denny? Dad, they're what? Okay. Sure they are. A thief and two feebs. Chris isn't a he stole the milk money at school. He's a thief in my book. Oh, come on. Ah, uh, so they're constantly comparing him now. Fuck. If you look in his room, he looked like he was on the football team. He was very, like, uh... He had a lot of promise. You know, a lot of expectations were put on him. Yeah, he was the quote-unquote popular kid. So. That's the thing. So now, you know, puts a lot on his shoulders. Gordo! Hey, man. You want to see something? Sure, what? Come on, what is it? You want to be the Lone Ranger of the Cisco Kid. Where'd you get this? Oh, fuck. Oh, from my old man's bureau. It's 45. Jesus! Let's get out of here! Come on! Oh my god, dude. I feel like this is going to foreshadow something unfortunate hey, to happen with that, that gun. That yeah. Out here? Hey, girls, where are you going? Hey, come on, man. My brother gave me that. Oh, shit. Oh, oh shit. Take it back. Oh, come on, man. Oh, fuck. I take it back. How could you let someone do that to your own brother, man? For real. <laughs> what a dick. As soon as he turns around, goes. man. Pow, right in the back. <laughs> oh, dude, that was his fucking hat, too. Come on. What a bunch of assholes. God damn, dude. I brought a comb. What do we need a comb for? Well, if we get on TV, we want to look good, don't we? <laughs> oh, fuck. God, oh, Vern. Oh, my God. You don't got a hair in a comb, bud. If we follow the tracks all the way into Harlow, it'd be about 20 miles. Wow. Sound about right to you, Gordy? Yeah. Yeah, it might even be 30. A soldier of fortune is a man called Paladin. Not if Chopper's there. Chopper's there, we'll see you. Ha ha, very funny. I was digging the Paladin song. I kind of want to hear some more. This is great. What are we supposed to do? Eat our feet? Do you mean you didn't bring anything either? I brought the comb. Oh, great, you brought the comb. What do you need a comb for? You don't even have any hair. I brought it for you. Hey, 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 hey. Let's see how much money we got. I was about to say, they're getting a little too comfortable on the train track. Train dodge. Dig it. You're gonna dodge the train! Uh, dude, that's not a good idea. Okay. Just like the beach in Normandy. What the? 
Those have nothing in common. What the fuck? The fuck is wrong with Teddy, dude? He's got a death wish. Skin it. Could have dodged it. You can't dodge shit. Look at your lanky ass legs. You know, why is he pissed? Your friend showed concern for you. He doesn't want you to get completely obliterated by a train. Exactly, man. And the fact that he even compared it to the beach of Normandy. What the fuck what? was that? What a fucking <laughs> downplay, Blasting dude. Blasting the train. Like, what are you doing? Yeah, that was Normandy. You just drop in a second. You shake my nerves oh, and you fuck. You know what? I'm not Without even surprised time, that they Charlie do this. I'm not. They just look like the type that we got. Oh god, that one's yeah, gone! That god one's got blown the hell up. Shouldn't have gone for a wooden one. <laughs> <laughs> Shit! Jesus oh my Christ. God. I feel bad for reverse mailboxes. I'm just glad we got over mailboxes like that. You know? That wooden one. Oh, dude, hey, I feel Vern. so bad. Shit, Tomas been out driving again. Oh, it's so funny, I forgot to laugh. Stand back, men! Oh, oh god. god. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's a quarter after one. We better go get the food. Chunk here it opens at three. Go get the provisions, you morphodite. Don't call me any of your mother's pit names. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Preferably disgusting ways to degrade a friend's mother was always held in high regard. True, true. That has not changed at all. Nope. That's what I hear, son. Are you gonna see Jane after the game? I think she's a lovely girl. Dad, can you please have the potatoes? Dorothy, don't talk to the boy about girls. Dad. You shouldn't be thinking about girls. This is the biggest game of his life. Dennis, when you're out there tomorrow. Bob, did you read the story that Gordy wrote? Gordy wrote a story. So this was a problem before he passed yeah, away. Yeah, so this was nothing new. It's kind of sad, though. Yeah. His parents didn't care about him at all. But they completely neglected him, and only his brother actually paid attention. It's actually really sad. Because you'd think it was after he passed away, but no, he's always mm, been a ghost, in a it, sense. It's been the whole time. Uh, oh, shit. Oh, fuck. He's got a hamburger in his bag. Now he said, Oh sick my god. But what I heard was, Chopper, sick balls. <laughs> 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 oh, fuck. There we go. Oh, God. Yo, that probably hurt his legs. Chopper. Chopper was my first lesson in the vast difference between myth. <laughs> you little tin weasel peckerwood loony son. Oh. Your dad's a loony. A loony up in the nut house in Togas. He took your ear and he put it to a stove and he burnt it off. Oh, My fuck. My father stormed the beach in Normandy. Ah! I'm gonna rip your head off and shit down your neck! <laughs> oh! <no! laughs> God damn, he's mad. Yo, I mean, man. it explains a lot on why he's so, like, uh, into the military kind of stuff. Yeah, now it makes sense. We showed him. Thought we're a bunch of... But going to see a dead kid. Maybe it shouldn't be a party. Yeah. Mm. Like, if he's really bad, like, all cut up in blood and shit all over him, I might have nightmares. You know, like all the little, a little far. Shut up, come come on, on, God damn it! Why is he covered in shit? Though? I don't understand that part. Maybe it's a metaphorical shit, <laughs> not literal <laughs> shit. I was thinking literal. What? Cobra Kai? Is it? Wait, is it? Oh my God! I think it. No, I don't think so. Oh uh, no, okay. it's not. 
I was thinking like, oh my god. Do you think I'm weird? Definitely. No man, seriously. <laughs> Am I weird? Yeah, but so what? Everybody's weird. True. Good answer. What's asshole about wanting to be with your friends? It's asshole if your friends drag you down. You hang with us, you'll just be another wise guy with shit for brains. He's a good kid, actually. He is, actually. He just wants the best for his friend. Fuck writing. I don't want to be a writer. It's stupid. It's a stupid waste of time. That's your dad talking. Bullshit. Full true. I know how your dad feels about you. He doesn't give a shit about you. Danny was the one he cared about. Don't try to tell me different. That's even worse when other people can notice that. Yeah. Kids lose everything unless there's someone there to look out for them. And if your parents are too fucked up to do it, then maybe I should. Wow. wow. Come on, you guys. Let's get that is a really good friend. No, but it's impressive, like, uh, like how great of a guy he is, actually. Ooh, that's kind of dangerous. Wow, is there... It's just a bridge. If the train comes, you're fucked. Yo, that is actually... <laughs> You guys can go around if you want to. I'm crossing here. And while you guys are dragging your candy asses halfway across the state and back, I'll be waiting for you on the other side, relaxing with my thoughts. You use your left hand or your right hand for that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, that man. was good, man. Oh, my God. Hey, man, I don't know about you, but I'd be running across this bridge. I'm going to walk across it. Yeah, you're not running across that, dude. Oh, shit. Yeah, Never man. Never mind. Dude. Ugh. I don't like that at all. Nah, man. <laughs> oh, Vern. Oh, fuck. Oh, God, Vern. No, he's come. No! He's come! Oh! It's gone. Oh, oh shit! shit! Yo, Vern, run! Oh shit! Yeah, scurry! Oh my! F oh shit! Oh my god! I'm pretty sure the train is slowing down though. <laughs> Vern's face! Oh, oh my god. god, dude, Vern! Yeah, look, the people are in there. Yeah, they see them. I, I highly doubt they're just gonna speed up on them. You know, you're a kid. You don't realize that that's a... Okay, they're not slowing down. Oh, shit! Oh, my God. Oh, God. They got fucking lucky, dude. Oh, my hey, God. At least now we know when the next train was due. <laughs> the bright side. Hey, they got the Dodger train. Well, Teddy didn't. Hey, Vern, you better turn yours over. This is the way I like to do it. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Funny, what am I supposed to eat? Why'd you cook your dick? <laughs> Be a small <laughs> beetle. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, my <laughs> God. Dude, Vern is such a mess, dude. I swear to God. All right, all right. Mickey's a mouse. Donald's a duck. Pluto's a dog. What's Goofy? He's definitely a dog. <laughs> the Goofy. He can't be a dog. He wears a hat and drives a car. <laughs> God, that's weird. What the hell is Goofy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. Come on. Oh, no. <laughs> what are you gonna shoot the crickets and frogs? <laughs> Dude. Oh, man, I would never I would never trust Vern with a gun. I'm gonna be honest with you. Dude, I wouldn't trust Vern with a stick. Yeah. <laughs> I 
gangbusters. Oh, a deer. Hello. Oh. Oh. <laughs> he's cute. He's so funny looking. Oh my god. Oh, he's gone. Bye. With our stomachs rumbling, we pressed on toward the royal. They're eating out of their shirts. Yeah. The reality of. Yo, oh, free water. Nice. Take no prisoners. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, you guys, it's a lot safer if we uh. Hey, you guys, wait up for me. Oh, Vern. Ah, uh, he had no choice, dude. Oh, <laughs> no! Fuck! He literally flipped! Shit, dude, I feel bad for Vern, dude. He's so... He's something else. Oh. Oh, fuck, dude. Oh, shit. Are supposed to get across this? No. Wait. <laughs> oh my god. Oh fuck, dude. No, Vern, there is something on your neck. It's a leech. A leech? leech yeah. Oh my. Oh no. Oh my god. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> I had a feeling, man, that, that water looked murky and yeah, gross. Yeah, it didn't look very sanitary, the water. Break it up, bitch. Break it up. Stop, Stop it! Dude, he's had enough, dude. He just had a leech on him, dude, in places you don't want to have leeches on. I'd be pissed off, too, honestly. I'm not going back. All right, decision made. Teddy? Yeah? Back Harlow Road. Yeah. For our kid must be around here someplace. Teddy, you and Vern watch the left side of the tracks. We'll take the right. There he is! I see him! Look! Look over there! I see him! I see him! Oh shit. The kid was dead. God damn. Oh, he's mangled up like his arms yeah, and dude. legs? Fuck. He's like twisted and everything, man. Holy shit. Say that. It should have been me. Don't say that, man. <laughs> he hates me a little good. <laughs> You're gonna be a great writer someday, Gordy. And no child should feel like that. You should never think that their parents hate them. The fuck do you know about this? Some bitch. Oh Hello? shit. We found him. We got dips. Oh, we better start running, eyeball. They got dips. <laughs> we earned you, man. You guys came in a car. That's not fair. He's ours. <laughs> Vern's gone. Yeah, Vern just split. You guys have two choices. We either leave quiet. Oh, that guy in the back. <laughs> take the <bar. laughs> he looks Stay. like he's smelling something bad. Get the shit out. Of we take the body. He looks like Biff's cousin. Side. <laughs> okay, Chambers, you little faggot. This is your last chance. Why don't you go home and fuck your mother some more? Oh, woo! You're dead. You're gonna have to kill me, Ace. No problem. <laughs> Whoo! Not taking him. Nobody's taking him. Come on, kid. Just give me the gun before you take your foot off. You must have at least some of your brother's good sense. Oh, dude! Oh, shit. He... Suck my fat one. Buddy, just fuck off. What are you gonna do? Shoot us all? No ways. 
just you. <laughs> oh, shit. We're not gonna forget this if that's what you're thinking. Whoever told you had a fat woman chance? Biggest one in four counties. <laughs> yeah. Maybe the leech did. <laughs> The goddamn leech. Oh, Vern's back! Vern never ran. Ray Brower's body was found, but neither our gang nor their gang got the credit. In the end, we decided that an anonymous phone call was the best thing to do. Yep, that's a good idea. See you in school. Yeah. Yeah. See you in junior high. As time went on, we saw less and less of Teddy and Vern. Until eventually... Aw, oh, man. Sad. Friends come in and out of your life like busboys in a restaurant. It's true. Mm -hmm. I heard that... Wow. wow. Chris did get out. Hmm. He enrolled in the college courses with me. And although it was hard, he gutted it out like he always did. He went on to college and eventually became a lawyer. Wow. wow! Chris, who had always made the best piece, tried to break it up. He was stabbed in the throat. He died almost instantly. Oh, fuck. Oh man, that's sad what happened to Chris though. Yeah, man, fuck. Oh, the fact that he actually became a lawyer though and he actually went through college. Oh. God. Oh, yeah, you're right. Stephen King. Told you. What the fuck? So we just watched Stand By Me and... God damn, does that ending hit hard now as like we're older and such, man? Yeah. Yeah, I know. Like, wow, it really... Ah... Uh... I just it reflect a lot of my own uh, life when we were younger and stuff. You yeah, know, the friends you, you had and such. Yeah, it's kind of like you could reflect on your own childhood. You know, we have some of the same friends as we had when we were uh, younger. Like, we uh, grew up with a bunch of guys. Yeah, we still know them after 20 plus years. It's 20, actually yeah, amazing. We've been friends for tw like 20 plus years, and uh, we're only 26. So it's a lot of years to be friends with some, uh, with people. Yeah. We're still friends to this day. You know, uh, some we don't, t like, we don't talk every day with each other. So, one of them we do, the other two is kind of like, you know, we have our lives. We have our own lives. You know, that's real, That's how it is, man. That's what it you know, showed there. He didn't see Chris in 10 years. Yeah. And then he died. Dude, that fucking and the broke thing is, my heart. The thing is, I'm not surprised though. Chris did what Chris does. You, you know, even when you saw him there, he would always intervene and do the right thing. Yeah. All the time he would do that. Yeah. That's just who he was as a person and sadly got him killed. God damn, dude. Yeah. But I'm so I, I'm so happy he went to college and he became a lawyer though. That's that's fucking incredible. The the the, the man the, he thought he wouldn't amount to anything. You know he thought he would always be a loser like his family. But right? he he actually fucking did it, yeah. man. That he that got that out. alone made me I like really that happy. A lot. My God, really dude. You know, oh, I, what, what I like about this movie is that it really it, it takes you back. Right? It takes you it, back. It, and it makes yeah. you feel young again. The, I think the that's good the old, beauty of it. The good it. old days, man, with the boys, man. Jeez. You, know, we've no, you had no worries. You had no, like... You, you had no concept of time. No. You man. know? Or no. Of reality, essentially. And you just had a good time. You just had fun. You did whatever the hell you want. You know? And I feel like the funny thing is, is that they acted a lot like we did with our friends. You know? Like, <laughs> yeah. insulting each other's mothers and stuff like that. Yeah, All yeah. that kind of shit. Been there, done that. You know? I felt like... It was just, it's just a very nostalgic movie, if that makes sense. You know, like I've never seen it before, but I felt nostalgic watching it. That's the weird thing, man. Like it just, it made me reflect a lot of the good old times, man. It just that's what it made me feel good. Yeah, well, kind of good and kind of sad at the same time. Oh, you know, it's days you'll never have again, essentially. No, I think you that's know? the and sad part, man. Like it, reality it, is, you'll never experience those days again. It really is, and I think especially like, see, like back in our, uh, when, you know, when we were kids. I mean, technology wasn't as fucking crazy as it was now. You know, we're not like grandpas or anything, but... No. You know, 
it's vastly different. Yeah, because going outside and playing like that, that that's all you had to fucking do. There was that's nothing all we else. Did. We, didn't, we didn't have much of, like, video games were around and stuff, but they weren't popular. So we would get our entertainment by just going out with the boys, hanging out, just going to, like, a park, walking to, like, some kind of creek or some shit nearby. Yeah, man. You know, Fuck, that was so nice. You would find nice. your enjoyment somewhere else, you know, and you would just, just hang out, talk about whatever the hell, you know? And nowadays, it's just like, it's not the same, dude. I don't think it's... I, I don't know. It's vastly different. That's I think it. because of technology, a lot of kids try to grow up way too fast. You, and you know what the sad and thing I, is? I, is I that don't grow up fast. You no. know, if you have the opportunity in which you don't have to, enjoy your youth. Dude, enjoy being a kid. Be then. young, be naive, and just have a fucking good time. It's because you only get that chance once in your life, and there's no going back. No. You know, and it's, the, and it's the sad thing, you know. It's not something I ever do, like, dwell about or whatnot. You know, I've kind of, you learn to accept it and you move on. You know, this is my life. This is how it is. But, I mean, you, you'll always remember the time where you had no worries. You had no concerns and stuff like that. And, you know, it, every day was just something different, something new, something fun. I don't know. I think it's just because of that alone I really loved the movie. Yeah. You know, I was I was worried that something was going to happen to the kids. Oh, fuck yeah, you know? especially when the, the the dick and his crew came by. Oh, my God. Oh, God, I got worried that something... I thought there were a few more dead bodies were going to be left there. You know, not just the kid there that no, they were originally No, found. no, but just the fact that they had a gun with them and stuff. I just... I keep feeling like that something wrong right, would happen. Every time there's a movie with kids with a gun, I'm always like, someone's going to shoot another person. Someone's right? dying and by mistake. That's the thing. Someone's getting blasted. And luckily it didn't happen. You no. had a close call with the train, and uh, Teddy was uh, one of the Dodge trains for whatever fucking reason. I don't. I still don't understand but that. But I think that that's the funniest part is that it ended up being a Vernon Gordy who did it instead of him. Like, he didn't actually... Yeah, he didn't I do like it. that. And I like how Teddy never wanted to do it again. Yeah. Because when he ran from the train, I guarantee you, he, he felt fear, man. There's a difference between uh, running away from a train and having the option to get off at any point you want... And then running across a bridge, and there's no going You're back. You're stranded. You're you have st no choice. It's either it's either jump off or get hit. Yeah. And I feel like that just maybe clicked, and it was like, oh, this is a bad idea. It's not good. Not fun. Mm -hmm. But I thought it was interesting, man, when it talked about their future, their lives, and how they actually grew apart from both um, Teddy no, and Vern. It happens, dude. You know, there's many friendships in our lives that we've had, and it's just... You grow apart. You grow apart. And the thing is, it's not even... I don't even... You know the thing is? You don't even realize it. It just kind of happens. It just right? kind of... It does. It really does, because... Out of nowhere, it just happens. You don't talk as much, and things just drift apart, and it's mm -hmm. just like... It's like, personally, I'm not friends with many people from high school, man. Only one friend from high school. That's it that I'm really good friends with, I talk to, I hang out with. Other than that, there's not really much other people. No. There's only... Only one Brandon, man. That's it. Brandon, he's a real one. Hey, shout outs to Brandon. He knows who he is. So I hope he does. And <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, he's the only person from high school that I still talk to. Everyone else is just like, I don't know, it's just... There's a few that we kind of hung out with here and there, but... Nobody's stuck like Brandon did. Yeah. That's the thing, you know? You know, I don't have many friends. Like, I could probably count the amount of friends that I have on my hands... Well, and probably by hand. Yeah. And you know what? It's actually kind of nice. I think if you have too many friends, it's too many problems. That's the thing. Because inevitably your friends' problems become your problems because you talk about it and you have to deal with it. It, it just becomes yeah, a whole mess. I don't know. I, I like keeping my circle small. You know? like yep. good. I mean, when I say friends, I don't... Acquaintances don't count. No. Nope. You know, you're going to have acquaintances, people that you talk to here and there also. But I mean friends, like people you could like actually trust. Right? You can lend them 20 bucks and you know they're going to give it back to you. People like that. You know, they're very rare to come by. You know, you don't get the people that you trust. Yeah. And I think that's an actual friend. Yeah, you can see right there because the friendship between Chris and Gordy, there, like you could tell, they're just they were much closer. Yeah, much closer. Not just that, well, I mean, just like the title of the movie, "Lean on Me," right? They leaned on each other for support and whatnot. Yeah, you know, because they couldn't find it anywhere else. Yeah, with all the problems they're dealing with, like yeah, their, their they, families weren't helping oh, at all. Their families are fucking useless. In fact, they man. made it fucking worse. My God, I, I still can't believe that man. His father said, "Should have been you." Was that? I, I don't I, think I, it was I real, but I, I think, don't know. But, but I think, like, but that's the, how what he feels like the entire no, time. I, the thing is, I would believe it though. His father didn't give a shit about him, and it was sad. That they were talking, like, when they were at the dinner table there, right? And they were just wanting to know about his brother, know about his brother's day. You know, what did you do? How did it go? Blah. And he's like, oh, you know, Gordy wrote something. You know, it was really amazing. Like, completely ignored Danny it. Danny kept trying to put him in the forefront. Because even Danny was like, dude, like, I'm fucking tired of this. Stop. Yeah. 
And even worse, I hate when there's people like that, like his dad, who was like, oh, you know, it's football, this football. Dude, fuck off. It's, uh, it's, dude, his, you know, it's, it's his sport. You know what the, what you know what the, you know the sad thing is? It's just like his father was a, is a fucking loser. He failed. He never got anywhere with football in his... And his he's living vicariously through his son. That's the problem. I feel like some people do don't live vicariously through others. It's a fucking no. horrible no. thing. It leads to misery. It's not just that, especially through your fucking children. Let them do whatever the fuck they want to do. Like Gordy wants to be a writer, let him be a fucking no. Writer. But the thing is, with Danny and football, at some point, because of the way his father acts, dude, he's just gonna resent football. He's not gonna he's like not, it that yeah, much. He's not gonna want to do it, you know, because then he's wondering, am I doing this for me? Am I doing this for him? Exactly. That's what a lot of parents understand, that when you pressure them like that, you actually build a resentment towards that very thing. Yeah, you know, just let them choose what they want. And whatever they want, become a fan of whatever the fuck it is. Even if you know nothing of it, learn it, figure it out, and try to understand it so that you could support them. It's the best you can do. That's that's all you can really do, all right? Don't force your kids to do things they don't want to do. That's it. It's not good. You know, let them find their own hobbies and passions. Yeah, don't decide it for them. Yeah, or don't try to push it on them either. If oh. they want to quit, let them quit, dude. There's so many other things to do in life. Yeah, as long as they don't, as long as they do, you know, as long as they don't do nothing, you know. Make oh, sure that's they're not the doing worst. Nothing. Make sure there's something they do. They have some form of hobby or some form of passion that they're they're like happy to do. You know, try to help them out and find something. You know, push them to do new things. Yeah, it was like with Gordy, like he was there at the uh, the butcher or whatever, and the guy asked, "Oh, what do you do?" And he just said nothing because like. That's what he feels like. He feels like nothing. He feels like the things well, that he, he likes like aren't the, important. Well, he felt like the stories that he would tell about, or the stories he wrote, meant nothing. Because that's what his family made it seem yeah, like. Yeah, because so, th- th- they downplayed it that, like there was no importance. So then it reflected that he never thought it was important. Yeah. And it turns out like it, it, be, it was something that was important. Look, he became a writer. And he looked like he had a very nice home, too. He was yeah. doing very well for himself. Mm-hmm. You know, in the end, worked out. And who would have thought Stephen King wrote a book about a writer? <laughs> he always does that, man. He does. Oh, that's Stephen King, dude. This man just knocks it out of the fucking park all the time. He's got a lot of bangers, man. Like, a lot of his... Th- oh, his movie adaptations are really well not done. Not that, but he does so good when it's... Whether it's horror or not, it's still damn good. It doesn't have to have horror for it to be good. No, I've always nope. known Stephen King is the king of horror and stuff like that, right? That's what he's... But well I kind of like these stories more, you know? I feel like you, you just... What can I say? I feel like you could relate to them more and stuff like, like that. Like Shawshank, uh, Green Mile, and stuff like that. It's it's yeah, actually amazing. Dolores Claiborne. That one as well was very fucking good. That was really good. You I know? know. I like a lot of these adaptations. tape yeah. shims. I'm, I'm, I'm willing to watch most of them, honestly. Like, Yeah, you know, I just I generally like these that have nothing to do with horror. Like, he's a very good writer in general. Jeez. The, well, I mean, not always. They say the movies do his books justice, but I was just thinking uh, The Dark Towers that you've told me was not that good. And From what I've heard. Other, Cell wasn't that good either. And Mist was something I don't ever want to talk about. The Mist was very good. Just not a fan of the ending. That's no, it. No, the but ending was crap. The whole, dude, they made The Mist TV show on Netflix. Holy fuck, is it awful. Is it? It is so awful. I watched all of it, and I was just like... Never again, and it never got a season two. That tells you everything. I wonder why. It was garbage, man. I, oh. And uh, there was a TV show? D- don't. Not worth my time? All right, I'm not going to bother with it. Don't worry. It is so I've got other bad. things to watch, like movies for the channel. Woo! All right, guys, that's about it. You yeah, know, I got to reminisce of my childhood for a good an hour and 30 minutes, maybe a bit longer. Felt and, nice. uh, if, you know what? It felt nice. I feel like we didn't even talk that much in this movie. I was I was more so in my own thoughts. Than yeah, I was else. thinking about a lot of old things in the past and such. Like that's it, man. And I kind of like that. Just a good movie. I liked it. Good movie. Thanks for the recommendations or the the people who on the polls. You know, you selected right. You guys are great. You're great. You're lovely. Beautiful, even. Whoa. Okay. On that note, I think we're going to go now. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, guys, uh, again, thanks uh, for the support and everything. You're lovely people, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.